What was your reaction when you found out that you're going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame? You know, I, I had a little glimpse of it. Uh, Todd Bailey said that I was probably going to be one of the next people inducted into the work. And, uh, you know, I thought it was so neat when Conrad Morgan came into here. And uh, I thought, man, that would be an honor. And when they called me, it's like, wow, I, I, I couldn't believe that. You know, this is a once in a lifetime experience that only a few people really get the chance to do it. Uh, you know, Bill Pretzel and I were talking, and uh, I said, well, it just doesn't seem like, you know, we should have earned this or whatever, like we're really that good. Mm -hmm. said, I think the same thing. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, and where does this rank on your accomplishments of your racing career? Boy, I have so many, you know, it, it is definitely way up there because this is something that we'll only get to do once and once we're inducted in here, you know, everybody's always going to see us up there. Um, you know, this, is, this rate's right up in there, you know. Neat experience and really thankful to all these people. For mm -hmm. And you're still racing up. What are some of the reasons that you feel that you've been as successful as you have been? Well, you know, I came from a heritage of racing. My uncle and my, my dad was a very good racer. Um, you know, and I grew up around it. So it was my life since I was young. And, uh, you know, that, that's where it started. Being surrounded by good pit people and, and uh, good people that uh, you know help you work with chassis and build chassis and uh, you know just just act right down to having great racetracks to race at. Without the racetracks, we wouldn't be what we are either. Mm -hmm. Now you got started on dirt and you were a successful dirt driver. Uh, why did you decide to switch to asphalt? Well, at that time you could race both. But then why did you stick with asphalt? <laughs> well, it, it, uh, I started in 1976. Um, went to Shano, May of 76. Won my very first race that I ever sat in a car, won a heat race. First time in a car and, uh, you know, was hooked on it ever since then. I continued to run dirt until uh, uh, 1981. We were track champion at Shano. Uh, we were still running at that time that car we ran at Slinger on Sunday nights on the blacktop, we ran at Shano on Saturday nights on the dirt, and at Kakana on the blacktop. So we were switching the car back and forth to taking windows in and out and everything. And it got to be where the two types of race cars were, were really evolving apart from each other. Um, as far as I knew at that time, I was the last one left in the state running both blacktop and dirt with the same car. And financially, I couldn't afford to have two cars. I had to make a choice. Uh, I thought at that time that the blacktop was, was uh, the way to go and uh, a little more professional. And, um, you know, I, have I regretted that ever, that decision? Yes and no. Uh, I still enjoy dirt. I go to a dirt race anytime when I jump in a dirt car in a heartbeat. Um, you know, they've evolved to be quite a machine and uh, it, uh, it would be a pretty neat experience to run one of them too. But that's how that's what brought me to, mm -hmm. to Blacktop, and uh, um, it's a fun deal. And uh, what do you attribute your success at Slinger to? I mean, it's a track that it's not in your backyard. You have to travel to get there every week, uh, but you've had a lot of success there. Slinger, I came to uh, 1981 was the first time that we went to Slinger, and like I said, we were racing on it. Some of the other dirt tracks, Shalom and and uh, Kakana, and we decided one one uh, weekend, well, let's go try out that Slinger track. Kawiki was running down here, and there was there was a lot of you know hot shoes that we had run with in our crew races and stuff like that. And uh, so let's go check this Slinger out. Everybody was talking about it, and uh, you know we came here, and um, the first night we ran pretty good. The second night here, I won the feature, and. You know, ever since then, I was hooked on Slinger mm -hmm. Speedway. So. Okay, and uh, you're still racing. How long do you plan on racing yet? Well, I'm enjoying racing with my son. My son Brazen has is, is, uh, got to be a pretty good little racer. He won four features this year. Um, I'm enjoying the time being able to race with my son as I did with my father. And uh, I think, you know, I, I look as to how many years I can go. I look at Conrad Morgan, I look at Jerry Eckert, I look at Al Schill, and they've got, all got at least 10 years on me, so I, I think I should be able to have 10 yet.
Okay, anything else you want to add? Well, I'd just like to thank all these people for this honor to be inducted into this Hall of Fame. And uh, just very, very neat experience. And uh, thank all the people that helped me along the way here. Okay, all right, thank you and congratulations. Thank you.